Padme Korat. Padme Korat. <laughs> Padme Korat. It's not Padme. It's Pat. 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 <laughs> Look at Vivian's face. She's like. <laughs> This is the spicy Thai noodle you've probably never heard of, but I think you need to know about. This is my version of Padme Korat Gung. So it's the noodle preparation technique that is make or break for this dish. So we're gonna use these small, thin rice stick noodles. Um, and this is the traditional noodle to use. So you might often find like the really thick pad thai um, kind of noodles, but if you can try and get these smaller, thin ones. And the, the trick is not to just throw them in the boiling water. That's when you get really sticky, clumpy noodles. So the idea here is that these need to sit at room temperature and then they will soften up a little bit. We're gonna cook them in boiling water, but only for like a second and then they go on the wok. And this is like your foolproof way to do your rice stick noodle cooking. You could do this with pad thai too. So there you go, the little trick to making the noodles work. All right, we need to make a sauce that works also. So let's get my pan heating up. I want a little bit of oil here. And then palm sugar is my main ingredient for this one. And it just kind of comes in mainly these hard kind of cakes. So you do need to shave it off to soften it up before you heat it up. So my palm sugar goes into the oil and sugar. Now just mix that around and I'm just waiting for that palm sugar to dissolve. So korat is actually a place, did you know, Dax? I did not. So once you've got your sauce looking like this, kind of a little golden and caramelly, then you can go in with some garlic, some shallots. These are those small red Asian shallots. If you can't get a hold of those, you could use some like finely sliced red onion if you like. And the shallots and the garlic really need to cook in that oil slash caramel kind of uh, mixture in here. You can see, you can, well, I can smell. They're sizzling, you can hear the sizzle. So that's really what you want here because you don't want like that raw onion or raw garlic flavor at the end. And now we're gonna add in this guy. So this is Thai soybean paste. Now have a look for it online. It is a fairly common ingredient to find, um, you know, in a Thai grocery store or an Asian grocery store. And it just adds a nice little kick of salty umami flavor. If you can't get a hold of it, just leave it out. But if you can, it's a nice addition. And then some fish sauce. Now some tamarind paste, and this is really what gives us like the sour flavor to the sauce. Just let that bubble away. I want those ingredients to really make friends in there. So by now, your sauce should kind of be bubbling away and look like a dark caramel kind of texture. So that looks pretty cool. I'm just gonna loosen it up a little bit with some water. And then we haven't got spicy yet. We need the spicy. So I've got some Thai chili powder. And people always ask me actually, like what is Thai chili powder? How is it different? Um, so if you have a look here, Thai chili powder has like a mixture of seeds. Um, the chilies themselves aren't really finely ground. So it's not like powder powder. You've kind of got like seeds, some of the chili, it's dry chili itself, and then a little bit of powder as well. So that's what you're looking for. Now this is the kind of situation you're after here. Nice, dark, thick-ish kind of sauce. Okay, let's get started in the wok here though before we cook those noodles. So just heat that up really nice and hot. Add in your oil. So I need some eggs here as well. Now when your oil's hot, add in your prawns. And when they're just cooked, just move them over to the side of the pan so you can pour in your beaten egg. And we're just making an omelette situation here. So spread the egg out. Once it's nearly set, then you can start kind of like flipping it around, breaking it up a little. Now at this point, let's deal with our noodles. So you can see that they have softened up quite a bit here and now they can go into the boiling water. And because they are softened, this takes literally a matter of seconds. Pull them straight out and then into your pan. As I said, if you've ever cooked with rice noodles and you've stir fried them and they stick together, this is the only way to prevent that. So use it wisely, the information, my friends. Sauce over the top of those noodles. And you can see just how beautiful the texture of those noodles are. They're lovely and soft and shiny, but they're not sticking together. Ah, that kind of noodle really is like pure joy. Okay, I need some bean shoots here and some spring onion. I 
and we are ready to serve. And these do look quite similar to Pad Thai noodles, right? But they're spicy. <laughs> and a little bit more kind of sour and like tangy. So a little bit of lime on the side. So there you go, my friends. Padmi Korat Gung. Let's get in here and try this, shall we? <laughs> All right, let's try these noodles. Ah, oh, goodness, I'm so hungry right now. Make sure you get a bit of gung in there. <laughs> stop saying button, stop saying gung. It's weird when you say it. <laughs> okay. It's so good. It's spicy, tangy, salty. You know, it's got lots of intrigue there that play with like the fish sauce and the tamarind. It's just really great. Ah, it's a really good noodle, my friends, and that noodle technique, you know, it's a killer. It's great. So good. See you later. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it. I sure do love cooking and creating content for my channel. And if you enjoyed it, then why not hit the subscribe button and maybe that little bell as well. Because if you hit the bell, then you'll get a notification every time I'm cooking something delicious.